Now, uh, so what is sensual passion then? Because whatever the images we see must satisfy our eyes. Whatever the sounds that we hear must satisfy our ears. Whatever the taste that uh, touches our palate must satisfy us. Food. Whatever the smell come, come that, uh, that our nose captures must satisfy our nose. And whatever the tangible things that we touch with our skin must satis bring us satisfaction. So subconsciously we maintain uh, that uh, the world must be a place must be something that brings us satisfaction. That is our subconscious uh, wish. When it doesn't happen, we get frustrated with the world. We get frustrated with our friends, our family members, our partners. Um, so our our work, uh, our co-workers. Consciously, you may not know that, but subconsciously. Uh, we want the world to be a, a positive place, a place, a passionate place, a place that always brings us gratification, satisfaction. That's our belief, that's our subconscious belief, subconscious wish. And that's when Buddha says, people, most of the time, people don't know what they want. Unenlightened people, average people don't know what they want. And then, uh, so, most of the time, uh, and most of them want um, uh, multiple things. Now, later on we will, in, in our future classes, we will discuss uh, our wants and needs, our attachments. In that uh, class we will see how that uh, universally, we only have a few universal problems in our day-to-day -day life, maybe 10, 12 problems. But if I ask, you would say you have like 3,000 problems. But those are extensions. Um, so, uh, and then there, are, there is no limit for our att attachments. There's no limit. We have uh, limitless passion. So unless we purposely choose what we want, uh, we would be running a marathon for life. So that is when sensual passion, so the Buddha, the Buddhist psychology of sensual passion is based on the five sense faculties, as I said, I, the eyes always want pleasant images and the nose wants perfume, not the foul smell. And then our tongue, our palate would love to have sweet things, not bitter things like medicine. And then, uh, so, uh, and then I, we want to sit on a cozy chair, couch. Uh, we want to throw ourselves in bed at night. And uh, anything tangible to our skin must, must bring us satisfaction. That's what we want. That is called sensual passion. And then, uh, so, and it has different areas, so that especially visual passion, uh, visual sensuality. Visual sensuality is just like the car that I talked about. You go to buy your car, you go to a dealership, right? And there are just one car that is more attractive than the other one, but the other one is technologically more advanced. But the car that you want to buy has a, less, a lesser number of options. And then you would say, you well, know what, technology-wise, I like that car, but it looks like a box. It's not actually, I don't like it. Um, and then you would even put some blame on the designer. So th that car has more options, but why, why, why the design make it uh, more attractive? And the more attractive car has a lesser number of options. But most of the time, you would say, you know what, I love this car because it looks so good, so cute. When you say that word, that's because of your sensual passion, cuteness. Um, when I, I have noticed that in different uh, airports, in different countries, passengers talk about the cuteness of the aircraft. 
They said that aircraft is cute. I like its nose. I like its tail. That's all sensual passion. For the moment you want to satisfy your eyes. And then uh, when you are driven by lust, sexual feelings, and the other day you accuse you, you didn't like the presence of your partner because you say that the partner doesn't look, doesn't look attractive like before. But when you have lustful feelings to that par partner, you, you are the most beautiful in the world. That's what you would say. Why is that? That's because of sensual passion. So these are based on our, these are underlying fixations. These are dormant. These fixations are dormant. They function in our subconscious mind. And you wouldn't notice. At times you, you make some uh, sexist remarks about some person. But later on, when the other part remains, why did you say that word? Because you, those are sexist remarks. Or did I really say that? Probably that person is honest. He never, he never wanted to say those words. At times we only notice that we have sent something nasty only after someone reminds us. Quite spontaneous. Your response uh, to your visual passion and then uh, your response to what you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you smell, what you feel uh, is quite spontaneous. So it is the confirmation. Your verbal, your words confirm what's going on in your head. So, so sensual passion is uh, like the other one. This is subconscious. They are dormant. All these fixations are dormant. <laughs>